Have you ever wondered if there's a blueprint for navigating the chaos of life and finding meaning in the midst of it all? Well, we've got something fascinating to share today. Jordan B. Peterson's 12 Rules for Life offers not just a blueprint, but a treasure trove of wisdom to unlock a more meaningful existence. In these 12 Rules for Life, you'll find practical advice on how to improve your posture, how to treat yourself with kindness and compassion, and how to build supportive relationships. You'll discover the art of self-improvement, the power of truth, and the importance of being open to learning from others. But before we dive in, we'd love to hear from you. What's the biggest challenge you've faced in finding meaning in your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's explore these rules together. And here's a little secret. If you don't have the answer just yet, you'll find insights at the end of our lessons. So stick around because this book might just change the way you see the world and live your life. Whether it's personal growth, better relationships, or a deeper understanding of the world, this book has you covered. Ready to explore the wisdom within 12 rules for life? Let's dive in. Rule number one, stand up straight with your shoulders back. This one's about posture. Remember, good posture isn't just about how you look. It can make a world of difference in how you feel. Picture this, a job interview with two equally qualified candidates. The one who stands tall with confidence leaves a better impression. Rule number two, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Self-compassion is vital. It's all about taking care of yourself as you would a loved one in need. When you're feeling stressed, remember to be kind to yourself. And speaking of kindness, rule number three encourages us to make friends with people who want the best for you. Surrounding yourself with supportive friends who genuinely care about your well-being can be a game changer. These are the folks who will encourage your personal growth, making life more fulfilling. As Jordan said, you're going to pay a price for every bloody thing you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose not to not pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. That's it. Now, rule number four. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others. Instead, focus on your own progress. Think about your career and skills. This leads to personal growth and less stress. Let's dive into rule number five. Do not let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. Effective parenting involves discipline and guidance to raise responsible and well-behaved kids. It's about teaching them good manners and respect, just like you'd expect from anyone else. Now, rule number six, set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. Before you try to change the world, consider this. You should first work on improving your own life, your responsibilities and relationships. It's like the old saying, charity begins at home. And that leads us to rule number seven, pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. It's all about prioritizing long-term goals and values over short-term pleasures. Imagine choosing a career path that aligns with your passions and values, even if it requires more effort and sacrifice. It's a recipe for a more fulfilling life. Now, rule number eight, tell the truth, or at least don't lie. Honesty and integrity are at the core of this rule. Think about it. Being truthful with your partner, even when it's difficult, can help build trust and resolve issues in a relationship. It's about building trustworthy relationships and maintaining moral integrity. Rule number nine, assume that the person you are listening to might know something you don't. Being open to learning from others, even if you initially disagree, can lead to expanded knowledge, empathy, and improved communication. It's about understanding different viewpoints and refining your own beliefs. Now, rule number 10, be precise in your speech. Communication is key and precision matters. For instance, when giving instructions at work, being clear and concise ensures everyone is on the same page. This leads to enhanced communication and better relationships. Rule number 11, do not bother children when they are skateboarding. It's all about letting kids take reasonable risks, learn from their experiences, and develop resilience and competence. Allowing your child to skateboard despite the inherent risks teaches them valuable life lessons like balance and responsibility. And finally, rule number 12, pet a cat when you encounter one on the street. This one's all about finding moments of joy and appreciating the beauty in life, even in small and simple experiences. So when you see a friendly cat or a beautiful sunset, take a moment to savor it. It's all about enjoying life's little pleasures, even on a busy day. And there you have it, folks, the 12 rules from Jordan B. Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. Now, here's a personal insight. 
While exploring these rules, I've found that rule number seven, pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient, truly resonates with me. Prioritizing long-term goals over short-term pleasures has led to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. As we wrap up our journey through 12 rules for life, we'd love to hear from you. Which of these rules resonates with you the most, and how do you plan to apply it in your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found value in today's discussion, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful content. Your engagement fuels our mission to bring wisdom to life. So tell us, which rule speaks to your heart? We can't wait to hear from you.